Biotech is a very capital intensive business. Companies are always coming to investors and needing more money because it's very risky and it takes a lot of money to get through the different stages of development. A typical good company we look to invest will be one that has transformative proprietary science or technology that has the potential to disrupt an existing big market or create a new market with significant unmet needs. We typically invest in Series A or B with an initial check size of 5 to 10 million and deploy about 10 to 20 million per company during the life cycle of the investment. Healthcare is a top global concern. I think the whole world is aligned in that. Everybody, and, and investors are people too, investors therefore are increasingly interested in funding biotechnology innovations. I think investors see in biotech companies this dramatic increase of our understanding of biology, of sickness, and in wellness. And that understanding has put us in an unusual and unprecedented position to innovate, to create new therapies that previously had been out of our reach. Traditionally, infectious disease investment was regarded as an area that's less profitable with many scientific and business failures. But the COVID pandemic, I think, has really changed people's attitudes towards the serious public health threats infectious diseases cause. Through the pandemic, the way that vaccines are being developed so quickly and therapies are being developed so rapidly, I think that the general public for the first time is really seeing some of these amazing new advances that our industry has been working on and has allowed companies to tackle this problem in such record speed. The industry has done a great job bringing these technologies to the forefront and it's our job as investors to make sure that the money is there to take them to the next level.